Hey everyone, this is Robin and I'm back with some Canvas app magic. I showed you in one of the previous videos how we can create this nested gallery where we use a flexible height gallery on the outside and a normal gallery on the inside. If you want to watch that video first and haven't done so far, uh, check it out in the description. But under there, a viewer asked me if this also works if we have a flexible height gallery inside of a flexible height gallery because here we could easily calculate the height of the inner gallery based on the amount of uh, items and the rep count we have in here and then we can ultimately make the flexible height gallery for each template to uh, use the right height but uh, if we have more flexible height galleries it gets a little bit trickier and we have actually to use a small trick to achieve a similar result in there and this is what it looks like so we have uh, again the continents in the outer gallery and in the inner gallery now i use the description for the countries and as you can see they have um, various uh, different lengths so this still seems to work and perfectly on the end of North America. We will end with this red uh, thing here and move on to South America. So the answer is yes, this works. But what is the trick that I'm talking about? And the trick here is we need a little helper label because we want to calculate the height of each of these templates in the gallery in here. And the helper label I'm talking about is here. And right now the font size is set to zero. So we will bring it up again and then we see what I'm talking about. So in here, this one, uh, so this one or this whole card is 218 pixels high. And the next one, 197, 177, 218, uh, 197 again, and so on and so forth. So how does this work? Let's quickly look how we can calculate this. So this is actually really easy because we just want to have the height of the description, which is of course not fixed because we've set here the, where is it? The description. We've set everything to auto height. So we enabled the auto height property. And then we can here get for each of these labels the actual height. And then we just add the Y offset of the uh, label description. So this will result in the um, complete height of each of these light gray cards. And then we add all of those together to calculate the height of the inner gallery so for each of the inner galleries for each continent and how does that work then so uh, then here we need to uh, account for the template padding if we are using that if you don't use any template padding if you don't know what template padding is this is these uh, little white lines uh, in here i've set them to five pixels and we can account for them if we just um, calculate self.allitemscount times self.template padding. Um, we could also add a one in here because there's one on top and one on the, of the bottom. But if I leave that out, then everything evens out perfectly in my example. And then we will add, so this is the, the smaller part, just uh, uh, a few pixels in here. So if I have six elements, then it's uh, 30 pixels. And then I will sum up um everything uh, else so the gray parts and this is actually here the uh, from all the gallery items from the inner gallery and then we will um, take the value on the label and just sum them up and then we get a uh, thousand and a little bit pixels and then we calculated the height of the inner gallery and the outer gallery will uh, automatically match the height of the inner gallery because it's a flexible height gallery. And that is actually everything you need to know to go from the left example to the right example. So if you found that video helpful, please like and leave a comment down there. Probably you have a question as well that I will have fun answering. Mm -hmm.
See you next time.